Caitlin Clark surprised us again. Did you see that step back? Clark working on Van Lu. Oh, Clark, pretty step back. Hits a three. She played an amazing game, made history, broke records, but the Fever lost. Yeah, you heard that right. Clark scored 29 points and stood out in several other stats. But even so, it wasn't enough to secure the win. The Fever lost 89-84. So what's going on? Caitlin dominated the game in every area, yet they didn't win? Is Coach Christy Sides making the right choices? The Fever's defense is a serious issue. And we haven't even mentioned the U.S. Olympic team coaching staff. Are they regretting not calling up Clark? We have a lot to discuss in this video. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and stick with me because this analysis analysis is going to be intense. First, let's talk more about our beloved Caitlin Clark's performance in this game. Man, she was on fire. Clark finished the game with 29 points. That's right, 29, and it doesn't stop there. She also dished out 13 assists, showing that she's not just a scoring machine, but also a master at making her teammates shine. But wait, there's more. Clark also recorded five steals and three blocks. That's incredible for a point guard. She was everywhere on the court, defending, attacking, doing it all. The fourth quarter was especially spectacular. Clark scored 50 15 of her 29 points in that period. She practically carried the team on her back, attempting a heroic comeback. Not to mention the five rebounds and her five three-pointers that got the crowd going. She racked up so many stats that it's exhausting just to list them. In the end, Clark showed once again why she's special. Even on a tough day for the team, she shined, and that's what makes her one of the most exciting players to watch in the WNBA today. Now, let's be honest, even with all those incredible numbers, the Fever still lost the game. It's frustrating, I know. Is it time for the Fever to hire someone to help Clark, or could the problem be with the coaching staff? In the last quarter, when the game was heating up, Sides made a decision that left everyone scratching their heads. With Clark raining shots on the court, scoring 15 points just in that quarter, the coach decided to use her to draw the defense, like a decoy. It was clear that the idea was to draw the defense to Clark and free up Kelsey Mitchell for three-point shots. There's just one problem. Mitchell was zero for eight on three-pointers in the game. Zero for eight, folks. And even so, Sides insisted on this play when the team was five points behind with only 20 seconds left. I get it, Mitchell is a great player, but she wasn't hitting her shots. Why not keep riding Clark's momentum? She was unstoppable with 5 out of 9 on 3 pointers. Another thing that worried me was the defense. Sides couldn't adjust the defensive system during the game. The Fever was leaving the Mystics players too open to cut and shoot. The only one who was holding her own on defense was Lexi Hull, especially in the last quarter. Look, I love the Fever, and Clark, you know that. But we can't ignore these problems. Sides seems a bit lost. She isn't performing well with this team. She has a powerhouse in Clark, but she doesn't know how to manage it. But we also need to talk about Clark's turnovers. I'll be direct with you. Clark just broke a record no one wants to have. She now holds the record for the most turnovers by a rookie in WNBA history. With 127 turnovers in just 23 games, she surpassed Nikki McRae's record of 126 in 29 games. I know, I know, it sounds bad, right? But hold on, let's put this in context. First, Clark is playing incredibly well. She leads the league with an average of 5.5 turnovers per game. That's 1.7 more than the second place player. But think about it, whoever has the ball all the time is more likely to lose it, right? And look at this detail. The greatest players in history also have many turnovers. Several WNBA legends hold the career turnover records in the NBA. LeBron James has over 5,000. Clark is always trying to make plays happen. She takes risks with difficult Colt passes, tries to create something out of nothing. Sometimes it goes wrong, but when it goes right, oh my, it's a spectacle. And don't forget, she's still a rookie. She's learning, adapting to the professional game and her teammates, who sometimes don't position themselves well. Over time, I'm sure she'll adjust that. The most important thing is that even with those turnovers, Clark is killing it. She's already an all-star, has broken several positive records, and is the face of the league. She quickly became the most exciting player to watch in the WNBA. So guys, let's take it easy. This turnover record is just a detail in the brilliant career that Clark is building. The best is yet to come. And speaking of turnovers, we have to highlight the Fever's defensive problems and some crucial team errors. Look, there's no denying it. The Fever's defense in this game was 
complicated. Especially in the first three quarters, it was hard to watch. The off-ball defense was very weak. The Mystics players were free all the time to cut and shoot. Clark, Kelsey Mitchell, and Nalissa Smith struggled with their marking. I know Clark is the star of the team on offense, but there's still room for improvement on defense. Aliyah Boston also had her tough moments. She committed an unnecessary flagrant foul that cost the team dearly. She got frustrated, and that affected her game. Turnovers were another serious problem. The team committed 23 in total. That gave the Mystics 23 points. It's like we gave away a whole quarter for free to the opponent. And the rebounds? Wow, what a difference. The Fever grabbed only two offensive rebounds compared to 10 by the Mystics. That means fewer second chances for us and more for the opponent, but not everything was bad. The last quarter showed that the team has grit. Clark led an incredible comeback, almost turning the game around. This proves that the potential is there. The Fever has a lot of talent, but it needs to improve these details. With a bit more consistency on defense and fewer mistakes, this team can go far. Despite this loss by the Fever, Caitlin Clark's impact continues, and the WNBA is witnessing the incredible potential she has, even with all the challenges we've discussed. Look, Clark may have had some issues with turnovers, but there's no denying it. She's revolutionizing the league. Since she arrived, the numbers don't lie. She's the first rookie in history to achieve a triple-double. That's insane. And there's more. Clark was the fastest to reach 300 points, 100 assists, and 100 rebounds in WNBA history. She's making it look easy, folks. Her impact goes beyond the stats. Fever's game tickets are selling out. TV viewership is skyrocketing. Clark is bringing attention to the WNBA like we've never seen before. And here's an important detail. In a league full of talented veterans, Clark has already secured her place among the best. This shows the respect she has already earned. Of course, there are challenges ahead. The defense needs to improve, and the turnovers need to decrease. But imagine when she fully adjusts, and if the Fever brings in reinforcements to help her. It's going to be insane. Clark's potential is scary. She's already breaking records. Imagine a few years from now. She has everything to become one of the greatest players in WNBA history. And the best part, Clark is inspiring a new generation. Girls all over the country are watching her shine and dreaming of being like her. So folks, even with the challenge, the future is bright for Clark and the Fever. She's changing the game, literally. But the season is still ongoing and the Fever needs to react quickly. With Clark at the helm, they have the potential to turn things around, but time is running out. But how are they going to solve these defensive problems? Will coach Christy Sides change the strategy? And Clark, how will she handle the pressure of being the team's star while reducing the turnovers? The next game is crucial. If the Fever doesn't bounce back soon, playoff chances might start slipping away. Clark will have to elevate her game even more, if that's even possible. And there's more. Other teams are already catching on to Clark's game. They'll start preparing specific defenses for her. How will our girl respond to that? The pressure is mounting, folks. Every game now is a final for the Fever. Clark has to maintain this incredible level and also pull the rest of the team along. Can she handle the pressure? Will the Fever be able to provide the support she needs? The upcoming games will be nail biters. And then there's the big question. Is the US Olympic coaching staff regretting not calling up Clark? Imagine her making these incredible plays in the national team jersey. It would be amazing. And I bet they're thinking about everything they missed by not calling her. Now I want to know what you think. Do you think Christy Sides should be fired? Does the Fever need reinforcements to help Caitlyn? Leave it in the comments. And don't forget to like if you enjoyed the analysis and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any details of the WNBA season. See you in the next video.